Hello everyone, it's John Elder again with another service video. Today I'm going to talk to you about a common problem that we see here on the hood display and that's a fault that says overload trip to zone 1 or zone 2. I'm going to talk to you about what causes that fault and how to reset it. So don't go away, I'll be right back. Remember to observe all safe work practices and use the proper PPE. This video requires work in the hood control package, so it's recommended that the power be turned off to all circuits before any work is performed. Note the hood control package will have multiple circuits that should be de-energized. Let's start by talking about the fault and what causes it. In some of our hood control packages, we use devices called contactors to control the fan motors, and depending on the type of motor being used, we may also add an overload to provide a higher level of protection. Just a note that when a contactor and overload are combined, it's sometimes called a motor starter. It's the overload that, when triggered, will stop the flow of electricity to the motor and create the overload fault. The overload is triggered when the circuit has too many amps, loses one phase of power, or there's a high voltage imbalance, which frequently happens when there is a power outage or a low voltage situation in the building due to things like construction or thunderstorms. The other possibility is a bad wire connection or a motor, which will require further troubleshooting by a qualified service person. Once triggered, the overload must be reset manually, which is what I'm going to cover next. First, we have to locate the hood control package. Let me show you two different packages we have on display here in Denver. The most common place to find a control package is in the utility cabinet at the end of the hood, along with the fire system. Lift up on the door and pull outward to remove. There should be a gray control box inside which contain the overloads. The other, less common location for the control package would be a wall-mounted one like this one here. The concept is the same though and the overloads will be found inside. Now let's open the control panel and find the contactors and overloads, or motor starters. Remember it's recommended to turn off all the power to the panel before working inside. The door only needs a flathead screwdriver to open unless it was ordered with a key lock. Once the door is open, you're looking for the contactor and overload pictured here. The overload can be identified by the two square buttons, one red and one black. The red button is a test button, and the black button is the reset button. If you have multiple overloads and don't know which one is tripped, there's a trip indicator on the overload, or you can just press the black button on each overload. If the overload's not tripped, nothing will happen. But if the overload is tripped, you'll hear a click, and the fan motor should start once the power is restored. If the overload trips again right away, it's time to call a qualified service technician to further troubleshoot the problem. Thank you for watching and I hope this video gets you back up and running quickly. If you have any questions about this video or any of our products, please feel free to contact our tech support line at 1-866-784-6900 or email support at castservice.com.